I've been to a lot of places, met a lot of people of different races and cultures. But it's one thing that's been obvious to me. There is no group of people on this earth that are more unique or resilient as the people from my city. That's why I have decided to become a vessel for the people of Franklin, Louisiana to share their stories with the world. Franklin Tales. And we're back. Welcome to another episode of It Is What It Is TV, Franklin Tales. I'm here with Ronaldo Tucson, a.k.a. Bull. Mm-hmm. What up? Man, let's hop right into it, Bull, man. Tell me about your childhood. Man, shit. It was crazy, bro. And then, first of all, my name is Ronaldo Tucson. Everybody know me as Bull. And then, I'm from Baldwin, Louisiana. But... I came up in Franklin. And then I moved to Franklin. I'm gonna say I was about 19 years old, something like that. And then when it was really stomping, you it was really getting it out there. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about shit. It was hard, you know what I'm saying? Cause you got cat like myself coming from the Moscow, you know what I'm saying? And then you catch pressure coming from coming going to Franklin, you know what I'm saying? And shit. Me and my family, we moved, we moved to Franklin, and then mom always told me, don't do this and don't do that. Shit. That's what I wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? I was a knucklehead, you know? Don't go this place. Shit. That's what she got to find me at, you know? Straight up. But that's what I would do. Dude from Franklin, they ain't deal with that Baldwin shit. You know what I'm saying? I got a partner by the name of Head. He from Baldwin, too. And then R.I.P. And then we both, we came up and we, we grew up, we stomping in Baldwin. And then Baldwin couldn't hold us. You dig? So they say Franklin tore up, you know what I'm saying? So we got to get across that bayou some kind of way. We get crossed down, finally. And then, shit, everybody want to fight with us. We ain't doing no losing, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about the baddest dudes from Bob Franklin. They come through them. You dig? They want to see what's happening with that shit. Hands down, let's get it. You know, we start fighting. Can't find nobody to whip me. You know what I'm saying? Head, he he was on a kind of like a little bigger level. He's slinging that iron. You know what I'm saying? Dudes, yeah, they go, they go say the same thing. You know, he really, he was like that. You know, what I mean, anyway, I mean, when it come down to Franklin, you can't just, you can't go to that place and just think you go just do what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Period. I mean, I don't know what it is, what it's about now. You know what I'm saying? Because that's a whole nother generation. But when I was out there, you had to be really about that. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. That's any way you go. You know what I'm saying? You're just not going to come from another little town and think you go do this or do that. You did. And that's what we did. We did that. You know what I'm saying? We survived it. We was really stepping. You know what I'm saying? We was really, really stepping. It did. So with that being said, I mean, I came up in Franklin. It did from the age of ten to until they got rid of me, until they sent me to that place. You know what I'm saying? And I would, they, I got kicked out of Franklin, getting in so much trouble. You know what I'm saying? To where as I mean, I'm from Franklin. That's what I rep. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Knucklehead, over you finest. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. So you originated from Baldwin, right? No doubt. All right, so did you grow up in a two-parent household or was it just you and your mom? Yeah, me, my mom, my brothers, my sisters, you know? That's about it. I mean, within years later, you know what I'm saying, we had this thing called a stepdad that came along, you know, but we were doing us regardless, you know what I'm saying? We didn't do all that. That's my stepdad and shit, man, nah. 
You don't miss me with that. So you got to Franklin around 10 years old. When you guys moved to Franklin, what side of town did you move on? Shit. When we first got to Franklin, we went straight in the gutter. OBU. You know, that's where we was at, OBU. We grew up, I mean, with a project set. You know what I'm saying? That's OBU. You know what I'm saying? We moved right on side of the project. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, we went out. You can say my cousin, you know what I'm saying? Terry Guy, you know what I'm saying? We moved in with Terry Guy and his my his parents, you know what I'm saying? So that's where that's where we was we started growing up at, you know what I'm saying? Terry Guy, man. My mama and his mama, they were close friends, you know what I'm saying? And we ended up moving moving in with them, you know what I'm saying? And they all said, sung the same little song. You know what I'm saying? Don't go this place or don't go that place. You know what I'm saying? Us being young, we curious. We want to see what's happening. You did? We coming from a little town called Baldwin. You know what I'm saying? Shit, Franklin, where's that? You know what I'm saying? I'm going, I won't see. You know what I'm saying? We do, I mean, we moving around. Me and my brother. You know what I'm saying? Shit. He was a couple, my brother was a little older than me. You know what I'm saying? So he caught the attention from certain people that really want to, yeah, they want to fight him, you know what I'm saying? Shit, I found myself fighting them, you know what I'm saying? No, you ain't fighting my brother, you know what I'm saying? Straight up, they always, I'm too small, I'm too small, nah, uh-uh. But we gonna have to do this, you know what I'm saying? And I mean, pretty much that's how Franklin designed, you know what I'm saying? You can't go to that place thinking you about to do this, you know what I'm saying? Cause they got something for you. All the dudes that was wanting to fight my brother, I'm going out there. You know what I'm saying? And they thinking like, they really thinking like, man, I'm too small, shit. I'm getting it in. That's how my whole life went, you know what I'm saying? Until they, they started recognizing that, yeah, that man, they, they ain't nothing to play with right there. What age were you around this time? I'm going to say about, about 12, 13, by 13, by 13, I started, they started recognizing who exactly who I was, you know what I'm saying? Around that time, uh, who were you hanging with, bro? I mean, right, I mean, at that age, they, a lot of people done got to know who I was, you know what I'm saying? So all the bad dudes, you know what I'm saying? Some of them stayed away from me because they still wanted to see if that was really real, what was going on. So, I mean, they had, to, they had this cat, Tula, you know what I'm saying? Tula was the big dog of Franklin, you know what I'm saying? We all went to school together, you know what I'm saying? At the same token, I mean, I didn't care about none of that. You know what I'm saying? About him being no big dog. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I'm out here. I'm about to, I'm about to stomp. You dig? So me and Tula ended up getting in a fight one day, coming from school. You know what I'm saying? And what we would get dropped off at is directly on Martin Luther King when we were getting off the bus. You know what I'm saying? Man, I ain't lying, dog. I whipped the skin off Tula ass, bro. So some of the big, some of his, some of the older cats that was already out there on the streets when we get off, like man, I ain't never saw Tula get handled like that. Woo woo this, woo do that. You know what I'm saying? So that's how that took place. I mean, shit, me too. I fought every day for a whole week. You know what I'm saying? Every day. And then I get off at his house. He get off back in town. We yeah, hey, we go die. We go do this here. You know what I'm saying? And Tula became my man, man. You know what I'm saying? Me and him really like started putting smoke in together. You know what I'm saying? It me, Tula, you did. Kimmy Ray, Dantan, Bum Bum, you know what I'm saying? That's that's still up to today. You did. That's my brothers, you know what I'm saying? Straight up. Me and them dudes really like started from the mud together, you know? Straight up. Me, Kimmy Ray, Bum Bum, and Tula, you know what I'm saying? That was That's what it was, you know? Straight up. And see all the other cats, they was up in age, you know what I'm saying? Like the founder of OBU, Keith Harris. I don't care what nobody said. That's that, that's, yeah. Keith started that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? They was always on the block getting their bread up, you know what I'm saying? When we was doing our little boy shit, you know what I'm saying? But they knew one thing. We was up and coming. We was on our way. You know what I'm saying? Now, everybody who I was hanging with, name my call just then, and then... They could co-sign that shit. They knew one thing. Them dudes coming. You know what I'm saying? We came. You know what I'm saying? We lost Tula. You know what I'm saying? We lost him. 
You know, but at the same token, he said his he said his, he said his mark before he left. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. So that's why I mean, to answer your question, that's why I was really hanging with. You know what I'm saying? That was my people. So in other words, y'all boys terrorized the city. No doubt. No doubt. We really did. We really, really did. For real. Straight up. I mean, right before Tula died, me and him, we really like did some did some business together in front of the club. You know what I'm saying? In front of the club, we really like turned up on some shit. You know what I'm saying? And a couple months after that, he moved moved out of town and he ended up getting killed. You know what I'm saying? He ended up getting killed. All right, too long. Yeah. yeah. But tell me this right here. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, let's let's get down to the nitty gritty. Uh, yeah. What was the business that you guys took care of in front of the club? I mean, some cats came out of town, came from out of town. You know what I'm saying? Thinking they was gonna come to my section. You did. I'm saying my section now because I done put in enough work. You did. They know who I am, you dig? And I'm really like repping this shit, you know what I'm saying? So, niggas come from out of town, you know what I'm saying? And come doing some shit they won't, they had no business doing, you know what I'm saying? And we bust that shit up, you know what I'm saying? We bust that shit up too. I took it all the way out of hand, you know what I'm saying? Because he, he was wor a little worse. People say I was worse than him, but I feel like he was worse than me, you know what I'm saying? He took it more than what it was. He took it all the way out there, and he really hugged dude out, son. You know what I'm saying? Straight what up. Did? What he did? He, I'm talking about, I'm on some real shit. He stomped him out, bro. Slammed his face against the concrete, you know? Head butt him, bust his head against the bump of a car. All that good shit there, you know what I'm saying? So now it got to a point to me and him putting in work to me trying to stop him. You know what I'm saying? Straight up that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? That's how we was coming out there. You did for real, like I mean, and that was just two of us, just me and him. The rest of the team were nowhere around at the time, you know, for real. All right, so as you got older into your teenage years, paint a picture for me of how Franklin was to you. What was going on around that time? Was it was it dope out, or was it a lot of gangs? Like you know, mm -hmm. talk to me about that. Yeah, I mean, around that time, I mean, I don't, I don't monopolize the game. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about I done learned everything I needed to learn dealing with this street shit. You know what I'm saying? Mainly, that was my problem, dog. I did a lot of hustling. You know what I'm saying? And the, the, whole, the whole motive in the game back then was to come up with $4,500. You know what I'm saying? Back then, the, the ounces was like $500 a piece. You know what I'm saying? You get a nine pack, boy, you in the game. You dig? So you, the whole motive was to hustle forty five hundred dollars. You dig? You go to Houston, you go get you a nine pack. You dig? And now you in the game. You dig? And pretty much so that's what we were hustling for. You know what I'm saying? And we came up with that shit. Goddamn, I couldn't miss from now. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, couldn't miss. Cause I mean, the game was so good. You know what I'm saying? I, I could recall, I lost damn near everything I had at a dice game. You know what I'm saying? And shit, I woke up that next day with $30, bro. It did $30 in my pocket. That's all I got. You know what I'm saying? I done lost everything at the dice game. Before I went to bed that night, I done hustled so much, bro. And that one day, I done came up with $1,000. You did. I came up with $1,000. You did. Straight up. So after the dice game, you went back to hustling, right? No doubt. So overnight, you came up with a whole rack. What were you hustling? What game were you in? A straight crack, man. Back in the game, I mean, that was the thing. Crack, you feel me? Crack cocaine, that's what we were slinging. You know what I'm saying? Just like the movie New Jack City came out, you did, that's what it was about. You know what I'm saying? So I tell you what, take me back to how you actually first got in the game. I'm playing football, Frank and High. You did. And I would I would I would come home after football practice or what's not. You did some other little people. You did because I I used to hang around some of the older cats. You know what I'm saying? Zeus, big dog, Panky, big dog. You feel me? That was my circle. You did, and I'm knowing 
how they getting it in. You know what I'm saying? I know I, I know how they get it in. So I'm like, man, fuck all that. I need some bread. You know what I'm saying? I need some bread. You did straight up. Everybody I'm around, they they caked up. You know what I'm saying? So nigga lays up there on some shit like my partner Pinky. You did blue. You did. He like shit. This how you gotta do that. You know what I'm saying? Shit, boy, I come up with twenty dollars, boy. You did. Got me a double up. You know what I'm saying? And from there, I mean, I I didn't look back. You know what I'm saying? I ain't look back. So that's how I pretty pretty much got in the game. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much got in the game like that though. Straight up. Selling selling little little rocks. You know what I'm saying? You just keep on doing that. You're going to see it's going to accumulate. You know what I'm saying? All right. Give me a typical night of selling crack in Franklin. Give me give me up on how mm -hmm. you know, the average night would go. Back then, when I was coming up, when I was in the game as a youngie, Three plates. Plates meaning three ounces of crack. You know what I'm saying? Cut down the rocks. And I sold them all in one night, selling rocks. You know what I'm saying? That's how it was back then. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even entertain that shit. You know what I'm saying? But that was, I mean, like I said, I mean, shit didn't change. You know what I'm saying? But back then, that was the thing. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. What about the risk, the consequences of it all? Like, you know, you weren't thinking about that. It was just all about getting money. Like, you know, what was on your mind? Yeah, it was all about getting money. But yeah, you thought about that shit. But I mean, that come with it. That come with the territory. You got to be on your P's and Q's. You know what I'm saying? That's when I, I hear a lot of people always hollering about they don't trust this and they don't trust that. You got to trust somebody in that game. You know, and you see, in within time, I, I had... A couple people, I had a team, I had a little team, you know what I'm saying? And it didn't got to the point to where as I'm like the big dog of my little section, my little my little squad, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't perfect the game of selling selling this shit, you know what I'm saying? So I got a bunch of people, I got people watching out for me, you know what I'm saying? I'm paying them to keep eye on this direction, that direction. So I had eyes on every direction from where I was staying at, Martin Luther King, you know what I'm saying? Back of town, you know, that's where I was at. So I had to, you got to trust somebody, you know what I'm saying? Straight up. And I mean, that's pretty much what it was. That's the only, that's how I kept surviving in the game, you know, straight up. I ain't never, I ain't never got pinched, you know what I'm saying? I ain't get pinched, the, I mean, at all in this game. You know what I'm saying? Until recently, recently, I get I got caught up with a little dope charge. You know what I'm saying? Fuck with the wrong people. You know what I'm saying? In the Morgan City, and that was just some new shit. I'm talking about back then. You know what I'm saying? Shit, they knew they wasn't gonna be able to touch me like that. You know what I'm saying? Which they didn't. You know? All right. Well, before we uh get into I guess the times of you getting caught up recently, were there any times where you had any run-ins or not getting arrested, but like, you know, just running into Saber Hill, yeah. Charles Food Buster around that time. Can you tell me about that era when they were running around the city? Hell yeah, I done had encounters with all them bitches. Saber Hill, Buster, Charles Poo, all of them, you know what I'm saying? Richard Revere, you know, straight up. I done had running, bumping, whatever you want to call it with them bitches. It did. Straight up. They knew, they, they knew what I was doing. It did. But I thought it was a game. You know what I'm saying? I thought it all was a game. Cops and robbers. I got to stay away from them. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, Sarah Hill, she done jumped out on me before. It did. I was dirty in the motherfucker. It did. But the way I performed with them, you know what I'm saying? Instead of running from them, when I see they caught me up at the wrong time, I run straight at them. You know what I'm saying? I run straight at her, and she don't even know that I'm dirty. She's not going to expect that I'm dirty because I'm coming to her, and they know I'm a runner. You know what I'm saying? The whole time I'm running, going towards her, they think I'm dirty as fuck. All she got to do is serve me. She got me. You know what I'm saying? But she would have had to fight me, though. You know, Charles Poole Buster, they came at me. You know what I'm saying? I had my pit bull walking down the street one day. 
You did no cap, Mark Balto. You know what I'm saying? He was there. You did. I'm walking down Willow Street. You know what I'm saying? And I got my pit bull with me, big boy. You did Bolo. They all know him. You did. I'm walking down the street. They jumped out on me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, at the same token, they um they they want to they trying to harass me. You know what I'm saying? Cause they thinking they done caught me down bad. And I'm not go, never gonna call down bad, but I performed with them like I was dirty. You know what I'm saying? But they couldn't get to me because of the dog. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, Mark Barto, he was trying to come across the street. You know what I'm saying to save me. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I got this. So we good. You know what I'm saying? Charles Poole busted. He was trying hard. The dog trying to get at him. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I pretty much had running with all of them. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, but they knew I wasn't no dummy. All right, speaking of running, so let's talk about this, man. Mm -hmm. So, growing up in Franklin, yeah. When you talk about bull, the perception of you is being super aggressive. No doubt, it's all about bull. Don't take no shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You better watch out for him when he want it. He come and get it. Where did that mentality come from? Uh, honestly, bro, I mean, I mean, I just like physical contact, period. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, I got it like, I mean, if you're weak, you beat, son. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing weak about me. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, I mean, I just felt like I just had to put my hands on, on you know what I'm saying? Put my hands on another clown to see if you go whip me or I'm going to whip you. Because, I mean, it started like that. You dig? Don't forget now. I'm still in, I'm in Franklin. You dig? And it started from day one. You know what I'm saying? Well, me having a fight so much when I was coming up, I thought it was still like that. You know what I'm saying? And, and in so many ways, you dig? But that shit just stuck on me, you know? So when you say bull, that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly what it is, you dig? I mean, I just had to do that coming up so much to where that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. And I mean, and it's still like that, you know what I'm saying, to a certain extent. Now, you got to, I don't, I don't learn how to think now, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to sit there and just, you can, you can, you got more, you can speak, you can speak more dealing with me. Besides, before you couldn't even look at me hard before I'm in your shit, you know what I'm saying? Straight up, and I mean, that's bull, man, you know? Straight well, up, man. Because I mean, I done, I done heard the stories of you just running down on niggas. In front of the store, just making them give it up in broad daylight. Heard, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Whenever you go to jail, you're looking for the toughest person up in there. You're getting with them. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. that's I mean, bull. I mean, I mean, I just don't have no picks, no filter. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. I mean, I mean, I'm after them big dudes. I want them boys. I want the bad boys. You know what I'm saying? I want the bad boys. I want the ones that... They they say this and they say that, you dig shit. I'ma try that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'ma try that shit. You gotta show me a pair of lips can't whip. A pair of lips ain't never wanna fight. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. And like I said, I rep that Franklin shit. I'm a Franklin boy. You dig, and I'ma die that shit. You know what I'm saying? So if I mean if a nigga thinking a pair of lips go win, no. Not with me. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, not with me. You know, so I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm an aggressive nigga, you feel me? That's what it is. You know, straight up. I ain't bullshitting. <laughs> For real, brother. Oh, yeah. <laughs> straight up, man. That's what's up, man. Yeah. So your time in the streets, mm -hmm. back whenever you were hustling, if you can recall about how much money you played with the most at one time. Hmm. Honestly, uh, the most money I done played with, myself, my money, you did. I was, I'm going to say around, I was like 19, 20, before I went to jail. 19, 20, no, no, no. I was like 17. You did. I was like 17. I was, um, I was in a rush. You did. And I jumped in one car. I had two vehicles at the time. I had a uh, Delta 88 
and I had a cutlass. You know what I'm saying? And I was rushing, trying to hurry up and move around, and I realized I had put the money in the dope in one vehicle, and that's the vehicle I was in. You dig? So I had to turn around and say, damn. Turn around, come back to the house, park that car, and I check under the seat to see if it was still there. You know what I'm saying? So boom. I guess there. I called, I just started counting the money. You know what I'm saying? Counted it up, you did. I had like 30 grand. I had like 30 grand, you did. And I had damn near half a book of the dope. You know what I'm saying? At one time, you did. And that, that was the game. Like I said, the game was good back then. You did. I ain't see that yet. You know what I'm saying? Being a, being a, a adult. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, yeah. So it was like 30 grand. 30 grand cash, you know? That was mine. You did straight up. So let me ask you. Mm -hmm. Back then was, I know it was about the money, but I want to I wanna check your mentality. Talk to me. Was it more about getting your name out there to let motherfuckers know that I had to be played with? Or was it more about the money? What was, what was your ultimate goal when, whenever you were in the streets? The money. Honestly, that's what it was about with me. You did shit, because I had to meet a kid, you know? So I'm trying to get this bread up, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get this money together, because I got to take care of this boy. You know what I'm saying? And my old lady at the time, Sarah, everybody knew her. You know what I'm saying? She wanted her too, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I had to, I had to make sure that get right because the other sh all the other shit that's gonna come regardless, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm in the streets, you know what I'm saying? Means that I was already in the streets. Guess what? My name go boom regardless, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, that's just me being the person I am, you know what I'm saying? So I mean, to answer that question, it was about the bread, you know what I'm saying? It was about the bread I could accumulate, you know, straight up. With that being said, dealing with the streets, you hustling, coming from Baldwin. Having always fighting Franklin, you know, to get your name, get mm -hmm. your name out there, you know, protect your brother and everything like that. Yeah. Let me ask you, let me ask you this. If you could go back mm -hmm. and change your conditions that caused you to, to do whatever you had to do in the streets, would you? Mm -hmm. What I would change... In so many ways, I changed some things. You know what I'm saying? I changed some things. You know. I expound on that. What, what would you change? I mean, the, the main one. I wouldn't have quit school. I wouldn't have quit school because I mean, if I would have stayed in school, man, I'd be. I'd probably be rich by now. I'm thinking that little bread I was coming across. You know what I'm saying? Hustling it up. I'm thinking it, life was gonna be like that, perfect, the rest of my life. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about all I all it took was me to get in trouble one time. You dig? And all that little bread I accumulated was out the window that fast. You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't most definitely I wouldn't I I I would never quit school. You know what I'm saying? Cause I was real good at sports. You know what I'm saying? All the sports. I played all of it. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, like I said, I could have got a scholarship. You know what I'm saying? I chose the dope game over everything. You know what I'm saying? I mean, cause like I said, I'm gonna say it again. I I I really thought that's how life was gonna be. You know what I'm saying? Perfect, smooth sailing. You know, like I said, shit. All that money I hadn't saved up, I got in trouble one time and broke. You know what I'm saying? Out the window, all the money. I'm on my ass. You know, straight up. And I mean, I had to start over from scratch. You know, and I mean, ain't get, I ain't never got it back up like I had it before. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. <clears throat> yeah, so school, I feel like school would have been the main target, you know? I would have never laid it back with school. You know what? And that's a good message for all the kids uh, from Franklin who will be watching this. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Um, so you say you got in trouble that one time, so I would assume that you 
got arrested more times than that. So let me ask you, what was the longest stint you probably uh, had in jail? Oh, shit. I mean, I, the, the longest I done sat in jail, was uh, I had to bring in five. I had to give them a five-year flat sentence, you know what I'm saying? I had a 10-year sentence, and they suspended five, put me on five-year probation. I got violated. So I would have had to bring them to five years, four years and some months. You know what I'm saying? That was the longest one. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, I was, after I got out of that, I was back to back, back to back, back to back, because I wasn't doing something right. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, what, what the wrongdoing I was doing that wasn't right, it was not catching my head, you know what I'm saying? Not realizing God, instead of giving me chances on top of chances, you know what I'm saying? And I'm ignoring that. You know what I'm saying? And God slapped me upside my head to get my attention. You know what I'm saying? To keep me from doing something out of regret. You know what I'm saying? He'll send me back in that jailhouse. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I accept that. I don't, I, I mean, I accept that. I accept the bitter with the sweet. You know what I'm saying? Because it could have been worse. You know what I'm saying? It could have been worse, but I mean, I'm blessed to say I'm still here to even be talking to you. You know? All right, so I've talked to a few guys who actually did uh, several years uh, behind the bars. Yeah. And they always use the expression that say that's the closest thing to being in hell. So could you explain to me about your time in jail? What can you tell me about your experience doing that five years? Honestly, bro, I mean, with me, I'm, I'm pretty much so laid back when I'm in jail because dudes know who I am, you know what I'm saying? And the ones that don't know who I am, they go ask questions. You know what I'm saying? So I don't bother you, you don't bother me. It's smooth selling from that. You know what I mean? But man, jail is the worst place I ever fucking been, man. You know what I'm saying? That's the worst place I ever been. You know, I'm a grown ass man, but I gotta listen to you just to go eat, to go do this and go do that. You know what I'm saying? Bothering people on the streets because I need this or I need that, you know? Straight up, man. I mean, dog, that's 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 the slums. I be telling people these days right now, and then, man, I'm scared of jail. Out of all the time I done did, you know, man, I'm really scared of that place. I'm not scared of what goes on in there. I'm scared of just being took away from my loved ones. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, man. That shit old, man. That's why it's a message to them the youngsters, man. You did, man. Y'all need to catch your head, man. You did, cause once them people grab you, man, I don't get, I, you could be the smallest some bitch on this goddamn earth. You did, they gonna put you in there with them giants. You know what I'm saying? And at, at the beginning of this whole situation we were talking about, I said if you're weak, you beat. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. So I mean, you can go in that thing and one thing, and goddamn, that shit gonna blow up on you. Ain't no guns in there. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Oh yeah, man, that's. That place is the dungeon, you know, straight up. I ain't feeling it. So, Bull, talk to me. You grew up in um, OBU, right? No doubt. Hard head. All right, so you know personally that I've been doing research on the origins of OBU. Okay. And uh, I had a conversation with you about this, let's say about a month ago. Uh -huh. And you had some discrepancies with the story that I was giving you. Yeah, no doubt. Now, since then, I've done more research, mm -hmm. talked to a few guys about it. Yeah. You know, uh, some guys I know, you know. And here's what I came up with. Now, hear me out. Talk to me. I initially interviewed Dave Jones. Dave Jones told me that he's the originator of OBU. Mm. He claims that he started OBU back in 1986. Come on. Riding on a school bus. And he said to confirm that, I can go ahead and call a guy by the name of Michael Kelly. Because he said he was with him. He helped form OBU. Come on. All right. So that's Dave Jones. Next, I talked to a guy we both know by the name of Killer D. Killer D told me, he said, nah, Grim, I started OBU. Oh, man. Now, I'm not going to get into how you say he started and everything like that. That's mm -hmm. I'll let him tell his story about that. But so yeah. far, that's Dave Jones and that's Killer D. Mm -hmm. All right. Another person tells me 
when they found that I was doing research, they talked to Lester Levine, a.k.a. Moda Toda. <laughs> my godfather. Okay, Moda Toda says, nah, I started it with you. Damn. Then, I flip around. I'm just uh, coming back from Atlanta. When mm -hmm. I was in Atlanta, I end up being around Gary Haynes. Yeah. Gary Haynes tells me, hey, Dave Jones did start OVU. Come on. Now, mind you, he never heard me talk about Dave Jones or even mention or even hear me mention that Dave Jones started OVU. He just went ahead and said Dave started started OVU. Yeah. All right. Okay, I hear so, you. So, you are pretty much telling me, nah, they all wrong. Yeah. Who yeah. started OBU, bro? Man, look, I don't know why them dudes sitting up there co-signing or, I'm going to say, they claiming he done started OBU. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, bro, me, myself, I'm in these streets. You know what I'm saying? And at one point, I ain't even hear nothing about no OBU until my big homie, Keith Harris, you feel me? Keith Harris start repping this shit to the max. And then, because to be honest with you, bro, that's the only reason why we rolled behind that shit, son. You know what I'm saying? Because Keith laid up there, start repping this. You know what I'm saying? They had some other little clicks out there, creeper jeepers. You know what I'm saying? Woo do this and woo do that. You know what I'm saying? But dog, that OBU shit stood up. You know what I'm saying? And we st we stood on it. You know what I'm saying? Just cause homie, he from back of town. You know what I'm saying? And he he started speaking on that shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's why we roll with him. You know what I'm saying? OBU. You know what I'm saying? Keith is, is the dog of that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Keith is the dog of that shit. And then 86, when he so say claim he started that shit, man, stop that, man. Stop that, man. I don't know, man. Them niggas tripping. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. I talked to my homie the other day, and discussion came up about the OBU situation. You know what I'm saying? If shit. you don't mind me asking, uh, yeah. who was the homie you was talking to about? Keith. Keith Harry himself. You know what I'm saying? I pulled this coattail and me and him started chopping that shit up about that. You know what I'm saying? And he said the same thing. Bro, you know one thing, man. You know who started that shit. You know what I'm saying? He got a little song deal about, did he, I mean, he got a little song he used to sing. You know what I'm saying? When he would goddamn, we'd get to talking about that. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, dog. I don't know them niggas jump claiming that shit, man. Them niggas ain't, niggas ain't yeah like that, man. We were willing to die for that shit, man. You know, them niggas wasn't about that, none of that. They don't want no smoke behind OBU, nigga. We, we wanted all the smoke behind OBU, son. You know now, what I'm saying? Are you saying Keith is the originator because he was repping it first or had T-shirts or, you know, he was ready to die behind it? But man. that doesn't mean that he actually started it. Yeah. So are you yeah. saying that... He should get the credit for it. Keith, Keith started this shit, man. In my life, in my, in my, in, in my little trend, you know what I'm saying? Keith started this shit. I don't know. What do you nigga talking about? Some Dave started this, this. I didn't even hear about OBU. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even never knew nothing about no OBU, hear about OBU. You know what I'm saying? All the time I been was running in Franklin. You know what I'm saying? Until Keith started repping OBU, son. You know what I'm saying? Keith started that shit. You know what I'm saying? So what, it started, and it dead down, quiet down. They ain't speak on it no more. You know what I'm saying? And Keith started it up again. That's the only thing I can see if, they speak, if, if they're saying Dave, so say, started that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Stop rapping shit, son. Man, that's Keith work, man. Straight up. I feel like we're going to have to get with Keith. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. That's the only way I'm going to lay up there. Stop saying what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? If Keith tell me he didn't start that, and I just talked to him a couple of days ago, and I know one thing. 
That man told me he started that, you know what I'm saying? Man, I lived that. I was that. You know what I'm saying? I was there. When Keith started, brought that shit to my attention. I don't know why they sitting up there doing that shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. How many how many of them dudes? All right, let's say let's say this for instance. If if you talk if you repping OBU, you know what I'm saying? If you repping that, and then why well, ain't never so you lay up there or whoever left that stand on a nigga neck behind that shit, nigga. You nigga, we rep that shit for real, son. You know what I'm saying? We really OBU. You know what I'm saying? We OBU niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, when we was out there repping that shit, though we were living that shit. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Don't rep something you ain't ready to ride for. You know? Period. On the real. Man, with that being said, man, we done covered uh we done covered a lot, man, from the childhood to uh your time hustling, you mm -hmm. know, and uh so far. Man, we didn't had a great conversation, man. I hope you enjoyed it. I damn sure did. Yeah, no doubt, man. You know no doubt. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so are we gonna have you back as returning guests? Man, I'm talking about, man. You already know. I'll be back, man. Whenever you need, whenever you need to talk to me, man. Shit, get at me, man. You know how to get at me, man. I greatly appreciate that, man. This is it is what it is. TV Franklin tells, man. Appreciate you, bull. Big Franklin. Signing out, man.